I'm uh, John's little brother and also his best man. Just so the record's clear, John did ask me to shave my mustache. I had to exercise my privileges as best man, so, I, so I'm keeping it. I am the sister that doesn't write things down, so I didn't write anything down for this, so it's going to come straight from my heart. She came along when I was already in my preteen stage. Everything was still about me at that point. I followed my brother's footsteps very closely in life. When we moved to Houston from California, John decided to go to Second Baptist School. I did too. John chose wrestling as a sport. I did too. John decided to become a, a Kappa Sigma, and I did too. You were a gift from God. Like, you made our family complete. You made me feel like a little mom. I got to walk around and babysit you, and I know I complained about it, but it was, it was really a joy for me. John, we're awful proud of you, but we think Val is a fantastic girl to be marrying, beautiful, caring. We just love you, buddy. I tell you, I just can't imagine, you know, where you and Val are going to just spend so many wonderful years together. You're going to have beautiful babies. <laughs> it just couldn't be better, man. Which way do I turn? Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, Lord, you're beautiful. Oh. Uh oh. It's beautiful, man. Thank you. God. I seriously, I'm just so proud of you and proud of the decisions you made, you and Jacob together. I just am so happy how you've turned out. I just couldn't imagine anything like this yeah. in life. And so, listen guys, just go forward, keep God in your heart, stay close. All those things like we talked about last night, all the good times, celebrate. And those challenges, just get through it with love and compassion and understanding, bud. <laughs> You'll do great, I love you, buddy. You see that? You too, Jake. John, when we first met, there was an instant connection. We had long conversations about our life views and that connection grew stronger every day. I felt you were the one, but long distance took its toll. Eventually we decided to end things. I tried to let things go and move on, but I never stopped loving you. 
Luckily, you felt the same way. And after a year of being apart, you moved back home so we could try again. Marriage is a sacred ceremony, and today we observe the union of these two people with the respect the occasion warrants. I promise to change, learn, and grow with you even as life and time changes. I promise to challenge you to be and do your best to support any dreams you chase. I promise to cherish all my life's big and small moments with you, whether we are playing with June or traveling the world together. I love spending my life with you. I promise to continue loving our happy lives together as your love, partner, future mother of your children, and from this day forward, your wife. Yeah. I take you as my husband, as you are now, will be tomorrow, and for our days to come. Through sorrow and success and all that God has to offer us. Let's go! Now as John and Val embark in this journey together, they will be able to nurture a love that makes each of them a better version of, their, of themselves. I would at this time invite you to publicly declare your vows. Dear Valerie, it's amazing to take a step back and think about how we've grown up together. From kids graduating college and high school to adults more than ready and prepared to start a family with one another. To show Christ as the center, the center of their lives, John and Valerie have chosen to, to assemble the Unity Cross. You've taught me more about the true essence of love than you could ever imagine. You've always led with grace. The love I received from you feels truly unconditional. No matter what, I know I can always rely on your love for me. It's an amazing feeling that I could not imagine living without. Under the eyes of God, John, do you take Valerie to be your lawfully wedded wife? Do you promise to honor her in love, to be sensitive to her needs, to comfort her in difficulty, and put your full and complete trust in her so long as you both shall live? I do. Under the eyes of God, Valerie, do you take John to be your lawfully wedded husband? Do you promise to honor him in love? I do. To be sensitive, that's fine. <laughs> We can have as many I do's as you want to. To be sensitive to his needs, uh, to comfort him in difficulty, and to put your full and complete trust in him, so long as you both shall live. Now. I do. <laughs> Very well. By the power vested in me by the state of Texas, I pronounce you, John, and Valerie as husband and wife, lawfully wedded before God. You ready, John? You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great pleasure to present you Mr. and Mrs. John Wallace. Today is a day we've been anticipating for a long time and it's finally come to fruition. You, me, and June are family. <laughs> no more waiting. I am yours, and you are mine forever. Since I come on home, my body's been a mess. It's your ginger hair, the way you like to dress. Won't you come All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you will please join me in welcoming the newly wedded Mr. and Mrs. John Wallace.
baby for four short years until Valerie came along and stole the show. I never understood what they saw in that cute little face. She was so gross. Like with her stinky blankie. And she was a center of attention. Now it's um, your turn to really steal the show, but this time as the most beautiful bride I've ever seen. As a lifetime follower of John Val, I have some advice for you. John likes to be right all the time. Just let him be right. John likes to cook, but he doesn't like to clean. John is laid back and will do whatever the crowd wants to do until the crowd wants to do something that John doesn't want to do. Jokes aside, what I've learned following John all these years is that he's a great leader and he's taught me many things that have helped me in life and I know he'll be there for you, Val, in your marriage. I love you both with all my heart. So here's my brother, John, and my new sister, Val. Thank you for making my daughter the happiest I've ever seen her. I know she loves you with all her heart. And I know you love her. And I'm very proud to call you son-in-law.